coming to Stanford, I met some of the most interesting, accomplished, very down-to-earth people that I've ever encountered, and they're from all over the world. It's encouraged you to push the limit, encouraged to create new things, be it Google, Yahoo, stuff like that that have been created. It's very much share what you're doing, get what somebody else has to say on it, they'll improve it, pass it back. Whether it's athletics or research or music or anything, people really like go all out. I could not have imagined college to be so great when I got here. A lot of fun, a lot of craziness that made me feel at home. We have kids here from all over the world and all walks of life, and I mean that. And everybody can find a sense of belonging here. There isn't a Stanford way to be. Go, go down and to the right. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, just go down to the right. Please do not forget where you came from. It will provide you with the strength and inspiration as you search to discover where you are going. Knowing who you are. My roommate now, who I met in freshman year, uh, Danny Neal, he was over in Japan for the past six months when he was doing neurobio research uh, at the University of Kyoto. You know, the, they're the personal experiences you had, the people you met, the any impacts you made. It's not the next four years of academics. It is, it is, but it's also the next four years of your life. New startups that are coming out every single day. A lot of them are Stanford students. My roommate, Michael Inestin, is the smartest person I ever met. I think I was just looking at it, but, but see how different this image is? I get the impression, by the way, that the light is falling. Being around so many incredible people who have you know, written books and are on their way to PhDs already. All throughout Manhattan, she's always saying, I love you, and he's not taking her seriously, right? Really, I didn't like this movie too much, except the ending. I love the ending. And the interesting thing is that people are so humble at Stanford. Um, maybe it's because of the California weather and the West Coast laid-back attitude. A lot of things in this style. And so I decided to paint the people in my house, I decided to live in the Native community. We have a budget of $4 million to support undergraduate participation in research in any corner of the university. How did it go? How was your trip? Oh, uh, it was fantastic. I have a friend who went to China on a grant and took pictures, and that was her research project. And so I traveled all around South Africa and Zimbabwe, and that led me to South Africa, where I did research on sustainable development. We're in similar. Yeah. So that's good. It is good. Okay, awesome. Your personal education is what really matters to Stanford, so there are millions of opportunities to do independent studies and to get involved in cutting-edge research. That's what I like about it, is that my professor really helped me. I think she gave me a lot of positive feedback encouraging me. That was a great experience of being able to do something that I'm so passionate about. look at the spread of the Roman Empire, then Latin was valued over any 
indigenous language. If she's in a good mood, it's gonna be in, in Italian. She'll be like, ciao cara, come stai oggi? Like, to help me figure out what exactly I want to do and, and, and how... To create a magnetic field, that magnetic field has to be strong enough to magnetize one little small surface of the disc. A good liberal arts education needs to understand that it's training people not simply to master what is known, but to have this intuitive capacity to imagine what is unknown. Imagine these big concrete elements and then just drop the steel truss on top. Yeah, don't worry how to match, how they fit together. How One of the amazing together. things about Stanford as a research university is that we have undergraduates in our labs and they are really exploring the frontiers of science. Two sides of the spectrum, different, different experiments, but that's awesome. We're open to exploration, to new ideas, to risk taking. That defines the American West, it always has. And Stanford's part of that. Descartes suggests a new strategy for presenting radical new ideas. It's not one of these walled-in sort of places. It's much more mm -hmm. uh, open, dynamic. Dynamic and willing to change because mm -hmm. maybe of the fact that it's newer than some of the East Coast institutions, that it's not as locked into tradition. You know, they said, no, no, just come in and teach Silicon Valley entrepreneurship because the oil's going to run out. <laughs> they are on the top of their field, almost everyone here. And, and they really allow you to interact with them on a personal level. Unless something else comes up and that's okay, right? So next year in sociology... They have opened my mind to so many concepts that I wasn't aware of before. They're so incredibly knowledgeable and they don't hoard that knowledge. They want to share it, they want to spread it, they want to see how you react to it, they want to hear your ideas. So there actually is, you can hear all of it. Okay, good, let's go to the beginning. Straight through, please. Seeing as how you're surrounded by all these amazing people, it might, it might be a little bit scary. It makes you question, why was I chosen? Am I really good enough? But slowly you realize that this is your place and that you also have a very interesting story to tell. Batina, 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 Batina,